Me and Bossy had a conversation. We just bumped into each other. We had a serious conversation about this situation with me and how I was out of pocket, how I was wrong, right? How I was up, how I was disrespectful, Amen. how I was a man time, how I got caught up in the bush, the Instagram, and being disrespectful. And we had something going on together where we all were supposed to do something together. and. Switch and I got on some bullshit with the disrespect, right? With the the Meek Mill hate train, with the disrespect and the saying anything that wasn't supposed to be said on man time. Man, that boy's scared as hell. Apologize, I was wrong. It shouldn't have happened. It's not gonna happen again. That's not how we move. That's not how we handle. I should have got on the phone, call guards, call anybody from the Dream Chasers, had a conversation. I did a formal apology the first time, then I turned around. And got mad at something that I could have picked up the phone and had a conversation with you, had a conversation with me, or had a conversation with anybody else. That's what I said. As a man, me, I apologize. As a man, girl, I apologize. And this shit won't happen no more. Respect. Respect. As a man, and this is, I don't care what niggas think, how niggas feel. We came up in this shit together. We chastised each other, all kinds of shit. From the back cave days, I respect this man. I respect niggas, I was wrong. Period, bottom line. Yeah. And that says to me, respect. I respect that. Oh man, oh man, it's 100 TV. We back with some more news, y'all. And today we got your boy Mike Knox apologizing to a guy named Garcy that is a part of the Dream Chasers. Yes, your boy Meek Mill is not chasing dreams, he's chasing people. <laughs> I tell you, man, I ain't gonna lie, that boy Mike Knox look very scared, man. Mm hmm. That boy is looking like that boy made you apologize, man. And that boy's shirt is all ruffled up, man. Yo, it looks like that boy put hands on him, man. I'm not going to lie, man. It's not looking good for you, Mike Knox. Now, if you don't know who Mike Knox, he is a guy from Philly. He used to run with 50 Cent. Back in the days, he used to act like he was like this muscle guy. I don't know, man. But he was portraying himself to be like a Philly goon. You know what I'm saying? That's what we all thought, man. But uh, yo, it looks like him and Meek Mill, him and your boy Meek Mill would be beefing online, man. Your boy Mike Knox was saying a bunch of things about Meek Mill. Meek Mill was telling him to pull up and it looks like your boy Meek Mill finally sent the chases to go down there and talk to him, man. Because that boy Mike Knox apologized. Now, I'm not going to lie, man. If I said something to somebody, that means that I meant it. I'm not apologizing, bro. I'm going to stand on that. You're going to have to drag me through the damn streets. I don't give a damn. I'm going to stand on that, man, because I'm a grown man. If I said something, that means that I mean it. And for sure, you definitely ain't going to have me on no damn camera and apologizing like I'm some sucker. You feel me? We just going to have to scrap. Everybody going to die. We all going to be on the news, man. Because I'm not apologizing, bro. That's just me, though. You feel me? Because what is you apologizing for? If you said that about Meek Mill, that means that you meant it. It just looks like the only reason why you were saying sorry now, because this dude right here, man, that boy got his Nike shorts on, his Nike tee, his sneakers ain't even tied up, but it looks like that boy came to do some business, man. His right pocket is bulging, man. It looks like that boy ain't come to play with you, Mike Knox, and you felt the heat. So that's why you had said that you sorry, man. Let's stop the BS, man. Come on. Let's cut it out. It wasn't, oh, because you was wrong. No, 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 no. You was in fear. You smell that? <laughs> that was called fear. You feel me? Everybody been laughing at Meek Mill because of the whole puffy thing and all that. But let's not forget, that boy is from Philly. And that boy got them guys with him that got them big beards, man. If you don't know about Philadelphia, man, Philly is a rough place, man. Everybody get busy in Philly, man. Them dudes like to wear their socks high and they like to do a drive by. You feel me? So let's not sleep, man. Meek Mill do got some goons that's gonna ride from, you feel me? Just like how Drake has people that is gonna slide from. People still love these people, man. Yeah, man, but tell me how y'all feel about this, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's 100 TV. You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cab news, just real authentic content. The 100 West.